<laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want, 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal, you can put it in me, I put the shit. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my god. Ginger honey chips. 862 215 Is your ginger honey chips? Get one for yourself. Ten dollars, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Yari yo, yari yas. We be nyo ne fi yari. Yamfa yari su nyo ni pa. Sichle yari ni no. Sickness can determine the last straw of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and loved ones, supporters of our foundation, the CL Foundation for Health. Diabetes and asthma and cerebral palsy. We are knocking at your doors, knocking at your pocket, knocking at your emotions. Support me and my team to support people living with diabetes, asthma, and cerebral palsy. Your donations are welcome on 862 215 2007. Your zeal 862 215 2007. MTN Ghana numbers 055 Five zero seven seven zero five five zero 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 five zero seven seven. It is the MTN number. CL Foundation for Health and Support. Help us with the diabetes equipment, glucometers, wheelchairs, old clothing, new clothing, financial support, and let's give it to the needy. Thank you for your support. Yari, alo. I say, you alo. Yes, you are. I will worship you. I will worship you. Lift you high above the earth. And the heaven, my Lord, I will worship you and lift you high above the earth and the heaven. You are Lord. You. Hello, yes, you are. You are Lord. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, you are Lord. Yeah. When I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. Oh, when I I will never go back anymore. I welcome all of you this morning to our service. This is the day that the Lord has made. 
For my Bible says rejoice and be glad in this day. It is a new week. It is a new day. And it's a new time. If you have the opportunity to be alive this morning, maybe you are already in your day. Maybe you are even counting your afternoon. Maybe you are still in your evening. Maybe you just entered into your new day. You have done some hours after your new day. This morning, I came to encourage you that if you have opportunity to see today, it is a new opportunity to make it. The God we are worshiping is the God who is not the same. He's the God who never changes. What he did some years ago, he is still doing it. So we call him the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forever. But he is not a stereotype God. This morning, he does it the way he wants to do it. He doesn't use one way to do it the way he does it. That is why I say he's not the same. If you are waiting for him in the same way, he will pass and you don't know he has come to pass. But if you can protect your thinking, your ability, and your prayer life, have a consistent, persistent prayer life. This life we are living can never be survived without prayer. There are places you get to where you see prayer looks to them like nothing. But one hit and they are no more. But a praying person who is consistent in your prayer life, not focusing on your sin, but focusing on what God has spoken concerning your life, you will smile at the end of the storm. He will calm the storms in your life. As you walk through this week, somebody hear me. It is our month of divine restoration. Somebody hear me, you shall be restored. No matter what men will think, no matter what anybody thinks, no matter what they have planned concerning your life, it is our time for God to restore us. Your restoration is here. Somebody jump for your restoration. God is restoring you for a purpose and for a reason. This morning, I welcome you to his presence. I feel excited to be alive this morning. Get your bottle of oil as you anoint yourself into the week. Pick it up right now and get your bottle of oil and let's do it the way we do it. Say in the name of Jesus, as I drop this oil over myself, oh my Lord, oh my God, take me through this day. Make me what you want me to be this week. By the touch of this oil, I invite your countenance over me. Go again. I anoint myself with oil. My cup run over. Goodness and mercy shall follow me for the rest of my life. This week, I shall see the favor of God. It shall come on me and my children for the last time. I anoint myself with oil. My Monday, my Tuesday, my Wednesday, my Thursday, my Friday, my Saturday, my Sunday is secured. I shall become what God wants me to be. I shall become an epitome of blessing. I shall be a living testimony for his word. Bless me, O oh God. My going out and my coming in. Protect me against the witches and wizards in my family and my office. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you for passing through this morning. I hope my sound is okay because I think it's cracking. But we'll go through it in the name of Jesus. Uh, whatever is causing it, we'll solve it. But this morning, wherever you are, lift up your voice and thank God. As our flyer will always tell you, lift up your voice and begin to thank God. Begin to exalt the righteousness of God. Tell him he is good. 
Tell him he is kind. And his message endure it forever. Tell him you believe in him. Tell him he is your God. And you admire what he does for you. Somebody lift up your voice and begin to exhort God. Begin to exhort the righteousness of God. Begin to tell him how good he is. Tell him how great you are, O oh God. You are great in all that I do. All that I do, you are great in it. I salute you this morning, Lord. You are great, 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 you are great. 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 Oh, lift up your voice and tell him he is great. Tell him he is great because his greatness is unsearchable. Thank him for another day. Let him know you are starting your day with him. That your day is not better without him. Let him know that he is the author and the finisher of your life. And you are grateful. Say, Lord, I am grateful. Say, Lord, I am grateful. 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 Your greatness is unsearchable, Lord. I am here because you brought me here. Ah, another opportunity to bring me in this month of restoration. Lord, do it the way you want to do it. Let it be done the way you always want it to be done. I am grateful to you. Let all that is within me bless the Lord this morning. May it be said that Lord, your blessing over me is what has kept me going. Be glorified, be glorified, be highly exalted, be glorified, be highly exalted. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my King. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God. You are awesome in this place. Abba Father. You are worthy of our prayer. To you our heart we read. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God. Bible says, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. He says, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefit. He who redeems your life from destruction. He who forgives all your sins. He has made you who you are today. Ah, the trap has operated. And you have been exempted from the snellest foul. This morning you want to say thank you, my Lord. He who has satisfied you with your desires, with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord is working righteousness and justice in your life. This morning, if you are alive, smile and say thank you, Jesus, that in my time of prayer and communion, ah, you will show yourself strong. In this month of restoration, Lord, restore me. Let your restoration be made clear. I am here for you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Welcome you once again, Mary. Thank you. Get your communion wherever you are right now and let's do it. If you are in a boise, you can get your communion from Mary. Mary, type your number for those who want the communion. And if you find yourself in a cry, you can get it from myself in my office. 
get your communion right now let's dine with the lord as we enter into an hour of prayer i always tell you wherever you are you can say prayer to god you have to be consistent and persistent if i come to teach marriage and you come so when i come to pray pray this is the second part of my prayer for today after that long journey i am here to lead you to pray our theme for this month is my month of divine restoration i pray that the lord will restore you restoration is not a cheap word it is god giving you what you deserve it is giving you what you have lost and he says, I will restore what the canker worms have eaten, what they have swallowed. They will vomit for your sake. Whatever condition has caused you to be stagnant, whatever condition has made you fruitless, whatever condition has caused you to become a constant procrastinator, whatever condition has made you aimless i came to announce to you the year has not yet come to an end but the lord told me son it is the month of divine restoration you shall be restored your children shall be restored your wife shall be restored your husband shall be restored whatever has been stolen shall be restored by christ for the Bible says that the devil came to kill, to steal, and to destroy, destroy. The devil came to steal. He came to kill. And he came to destroy. But I have come to restore life and give it back to you more abundantly. This is the voice of Jesus Christ. Don't throw in the towel at this time. There is light at the end of the tunnel. God is about to bring you laughter. You have been disgraced for some time. But I came to tell you today that God is going to cause your shame into a fame. He will cause your shame into fame. Those who laughed at you will look for you because God has come into the situation make sure you have the spirit of prayer and let your prayer be consistent let it be persistent choose these two words for your prayer lifetime and the secret to prayer is the word of god the bible says that god has lifted the word above himself so that everything you say will come to pass he has lifted the word above himself. God has lifted this word above himself. So everything you ask according to his name will definitely come to pass. Never ever downplay the word of God. Because the word of God is what will bring answers. I pray that you will learn his word. So you pray his word back to him. Because he will only answer according to his word. What is not according to his word, he will not answer. Because the Bible says that if you want to come to God, you have to please him. And the Bible says in the book of Hebrews that no one can come to God until he pleases him. For if you want to come to God, you have to please him and believe that he's the rewarder of those who seek him. The Bible says that when Moses said, I cannot go. If your presence will not go with me. In the book of Exodus, the Bible says that the Lord said to Moses, my presence shall go with you because I am pleased with you. If you want your prayer to be persistent, 
and consistent all you need is to learn how to read his word study the word of god walk by his word he says your word have i hidden in my heart that i might not sin against you but out of the abundance of the heart the mouth will speak the words he says if you want god to succeed in your life let his word abide in you and you abide in him and ask everything according to his word he will settle it for you be a prayer warrior my brother be a prayer warrior my sister in the book of psalm 138 verse 2 he says for you have exalted your word above your name and for you have exalted your word above your name god have exalted his word above his name so that anything you ask according to his word he will answer wherever you are remember God is not there just because you want him to be there. But he's there to settle the situations in your life. I welcome you this morning to the presence of God. Get your communion and let's dine with the Lord. And remember we are in the month of divine restoration. He will restore you. That womb shall be restored. That financial condition shall be restored. That relationship shall be restored. Whatever has been taken away from you, receive them back in the name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord is coming back to you. He said, Re restore unto me the joy of my salvation. That joy that I had when I came to you. Oh Lord, restore, 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 restore. We are weak and we are weary. But I came to tell you that joy is coming to you. He is restoring. He is restoring. The restoration God is here. I thought you would say a bigger amen. Whatever you have gone through, there is a restoration. There is a restoration. This morning, you want to come and pray with me. But first, get your communion and let's dine with the Lord. Let's dine with the Lord this morning. The Bible says that and in the night that he was sitting with the disciples, he took the bread on the table and he said, this is my body. That was given to you. Eat it in remembrance of me. This is the body of Jesus. He broke it and he gave thanks and he said, Father, anoint and bless this bread. As your people dine with you this morning, walk with them throughout the whole of this week. May nothing happen to their body. May nobody break their body. By virtue of your body, let their sins be forgiven. Let every sickness be healed. Let every organ function well. As we eat your body, Lord, remember to release your angels to come and walk with us throughout this week we thank you and we bless you eat it in remembrance The same way he took the cup that contains the wine. He said, this is my blood. That was given to you as often as you drink it. Drink it in remembrance. And it is for the forgiveness of your sins. Ah, Father, I lift it up unto you. This is your blood. As we drink this blood this morning, take us through this week. May nobody spill our blood. May our blood not be used for any thanksgiving anywhere. 
nothing shall drain our blood from us by drinking your blood let every organ function well in our body may every blood related disease be flushed out of our life may every disease that is said it is from our family line diabetes pressure stroke goit cyst fibroid any disease in our body as a result of a family connection lord genetically we disconnect ourselves by drinking this blood disconnect us from any genetic diseases and by this blood oh god may we be marked for success as a drink for this week oh lord Keep us out of falling in Jesus' name. Drink this blood in remembrance. For the Bible says, when the Israelites were in captivity, they told them, Mark your doorpost with the blood after eating the Last Supper. Mark your forehead with the blood of Jesus. Mark your left hand with the blood of Jesus. And mark your right hand with the blood of Jesus. Mark your right foot with the blood of Jesus. And your left foot with the blood of Jesus. After you've done that, let me pray with you. Father, I pray with your people. And I declare whoever has come to dine with us this morning, cover them for this week. Let your blood speak better things for them. May nobody be able to touch them with their blood. Let nobody release any blood-related disease for them. Anybody infected in the blood, heal them out. Heal them out. Heal them out. Father, I connect them to the supernatural. Let the altar over my life speak for them. By the touch of this blood on their lives, Lord, visit them and restore. Restore through this blood. Let testimonies continue coming. Lord, let continually have testimonies of God to build our faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you so much for joining me this morning. Well, we are praying our prayers concerning the divine restoration. And the Lord says he will restore. And when God says he will restore, he knows what he's talking about. Remember that the scripture we have read and from last week we, we were praying some prayers. The fact is that God will restore. But you want to be careful that whatever is causing the delayance in your life, you deal with it. There are most of us that the reason why God is coming to restore is because there's a mistake. That has caused us to be where we are. And the mistake is continuing. It started with our father. It started with our mother, our siblings. Everybody is going through the same thing. So you want God to restore. But if there is anything that must be dealt with, you want to deal with it. Tell somebody, I want to deal with it. Bible says there was a young man whose father was rich. The father had what it takes to take care of him. So he had a nurse. And when people have nurses, it's because they are supposed to be taken care of. Because the father is rich. It's not one who can get a babysitter. It's not one who can pay for a nanny. So, but the rich have the connection. This morning, the way you are struggling... In not getting anybody to take off your children. Oh, it's a sign of poverty. But I pray to God that he will intervene in your finances. That he will dry up your tears of poverty and restore riches unto you so you can hide somebody and become free small. Your amen is weak. Pick up your offering and hold it. Wherever you are, get ready with your offering. And the numbers are on your screen already. They are scrolling down on your screens. You want to give that offering unto God. 
but we will give the offering after our prayers bible says there was a man called jonathan who was a son of saul he 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 had a son who was lame in both feet he was five years old when the news about saul and jonathan came from jezebel his nurse picked him up and fled but as he hurried to leave he fell and became disabled his name was mephibosheth now the story is that they heard that his 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 father and grandfather has been killed and the people who killed them are coming to his house to come and wipe everybody so this young boy at five had a special nurse who had a good mind and decided to run not alone but run with the son of jonathan on their way running the nurse lost guard and Mephibosheth fell a man who from zero to five was walking <clears throat> by the help of the nurse has fallen and has become crippled in both legs his father is dead his grandfather is no more but he has become a bedding. The nurse was the one taking care of him. Not because he was sick. But now he has become a bedding to the nurse. The man that must pay the nurse is not even available. There is nobody in the house again. Because everybody has run away. But in the running away, somebody decided to help. And he fell. This is how Mephibosheth became lame. But God remembered him. God caused a remembrance to occur in the life of David. And he said it clear. Is there anyone left? He says, is there anyone still left? Is there anyone still left? In the house of Saul, to whom I can show kindness for Jonathan's sake, the God of restoration is causing a remembrance this week. It is not because of what you have done, it's not because of your condition, but there is a particular seed of goodwill that your grandfather has sown of goodwill that your father have sown of goodwill that your mother has sown and you are just about to reap it your condition is not supposed to be how it is but you fell on the way in the quest for somebody to help you you fell on the way but god says i should tell you he is restoring the god of remembrance the God who can cause the paroma to keep out, to become a joyful mother of children. Whatever your condition is, I am here to provoke you that God is in the business of restoring. He is restoring you. He is restoring you. There is a restoration that is falling on you now. Stop the tears. Stop the complaint. Rise up from where you are and receive the call. Because in your lame legs, because in your falling area, don't let it become your sleeping area. You can fall for today. 
oh my enemy do not laugh at me for when i fall i will rise again he says when you fall seven times rise up seven times don't neglect your responsibilities with god don't cut yourself from god don't cut yourself from the source but rather look up to god who is the author and the finisher of our faith he says i will lift up my eyes onto the hills from where cometh my help my help cometh from the lord the maker of the heavens and the earth he says even if your earthly fathers who are wicked when you ask them for fish they will not give you snake how much more me your lord he is in to restore he is in to restore he wants you to enjoy to the fullest he says i wish above all things that you prosper even as your soul prospereth he is the god who can change your situation he is in the business of restoring you somebody stay divine restoration Man has failed you. Woman has failed you. And in your failure, you have become a destitute. You have been rejected. You have been removed from where you were one time. You were eating in broken plates. Now it's difficult for you to find food. The Bible says, and this boy... The rich man's son, Mephibosheth, were taking a weight for hiding. At least if he was hiding and his legs were correct, he could have done something for himself. But in the help of the nurse, the guy was disabled before. And out of his disability, he went to a place that was forgotten. It's called Lodibar. That friend of yours who you have helped and have traveled and have forgotten about you, God is restoring your contact. He is struggling and looking for your contact. He's looking for your contact. He's looking for your contact. He has been stranded because of you. I pray and put the pressure of search on him. God will cause your remembrance because he is in to restore you. Bible says, when David said, is there anyone left? Is, is there anyone still left? It means that there are a lot of people that were in that house and they all died. Some ran because somebody like Ziba ran because now there was a servant of Saul's house Ziba was not a servant of David but when they heard the master has been killed and they were coming to kill them Ziba ran away he was a servant in the house of Saul he had the record of the boy whoever has your record shall appear in the right place the one who knows what you know how to do anybody who knows your condition that god must use them to restore you i say god will place them in the right place of remembrance he will place them in the right place of remembrance bible says when david said is anybody still left in the house of saul for me to show kindness to for the sake of Jonathan, the channel is no straight. He is not showing favor because of David, but because of Jonathan. Jonathan has shown some good to him and he want to repay, but he had everybody has finished in the house. So he said, is anybody still left? There comes one person who was one time a servant in that house who knows the story of that house let everybody who knows my story 
appear to assist my recovery appear to assist my recovery let everybody who knows me appear for my restoration pray and say in the name of jesus as i lift up my voice and i pray lord whatever condition has reduced me to nothing hey my lord my god as i lift up my voice and i pray let there be a remembrance let there be a remembrance a remembrance for restoration a remembrance for restoration lord no matter how weak i have become no matter how useless i become cause my ziba to appear in the right place oh god let that woman who came to save us some years ago i be in the right place today lord let their service connect them to my breakthrough lift up your voice somebody and pray lord let that doctor who has the history of my life let that nurse who have the history of my life let that man who have me at heart let that businessman who have me at heart lord let somebody appear like my ziba let a question be asked and they should answer let the question be asked and be answered i pray that lord let there be a restoration ah my restoration time let it start from the divine i pray that restore my children hey restore my children kadibo sitayanda paludi tere makatayando zile mate karia brahma tulubarande mataya batonda kebati aleza kilililili ama lo let me be remembered let me be remembered i declare that let me be remembered kori aba sonta alinda pali kele samanta e kapo sikere anda ali re mataya na father i declare let there be remembrance because lord you can do it you o oh lord can do it i pray that i shall be remembered may i not become a burden i pray for it that lord i will become what you want it to be even in the name of jesus bible says one time in the life of joseph the young man joseph have really suffered joseph has suffered his suffering is not a common suffer <laughs> what joseph went through so we all share his story simple if your zipper is not at the right place at the right time your story will still be an old story but we all know the story of joseph very well the brother sold him he went into a prison lifestyle that is not where i am discussing today but in the book of genesis chapter number 40 if you read 39 you read 40 there was a time in the life of this young man called joseph he had he had the opportunity of a zebra whose name was called the chief cup bearer who came to live with him in prison when joseph was forcibly accused and was put in prison his talent was still exhibited he was still interpreting dreams it is through the dream that his brothers got angry look your gift that you have is what will open the way for you into the heart of kings your gift will open a way for you your beauty will open a way for you 